In this video, I'm going to provide you with some easy to follow tips and tricks that will make your life as a thief in Thief Simulator 2 a whole lot easier. From sneaking into upscale mansions to avoiding nosy neighbors and security cameras, I've got you covered where I'll help you become the ultimate master of stealth and larceny. So let's get started. Tip number one, when you get to your house, you'll find this storage right in this corner here. Anything that you see with this little green icon are items that can be sold on the Black Bay. I would deposit them as much as you can until you fill up what you need to sell on the Black Bay. When you actually go over to the computer right over here and open Black Bay, you will see if anything is full, it'll show up directly at the top. You won't have to scroll to the bottom. As you can see right now, I'm missing items, but say if I had the spirit level right here, you'd be able to hit complete or send and it would get rid of those items. Anything in your storage can also be used in this area, so you don't have to actually carry it on you at all times. Tip number two, your crowbar can actually break. So if you see it disappear and it's no longer in your radial menu, then you can go straight over to your computer, go to the steel gear option, and you'll have the option to buy another crowbar. Unfortunately, you can't upgrade this, but you can change the color of it, so there's that. Tip number three, as you rob houses and complete objectives, throughout the game, you're going to find codes, and at the top of your screen, you'll see parcel code has been unlocked. Now, at the time of this video, I don't know if there's any way of actually storing those besides writing them down, besides writing them down yourself. When you do receive one of those codes, you're able to come to this parcel locker and actually type it in. Right now, I've already used up the ones that I currently know of, but you would literally just type in the four or five digit number, it looks like it's five, into this, and it's going to open up one of these parcel uh, lockers, and it's a free item for you to receive. So uh, the game doesn't really tell you that, but hopefully this helps. Tip number four, when you have a little bit of extra cash and you wanna make some extra cash, you might as well throw it into the dark bank. When you throw it into the dark bank, you do actually get 7% increase every week so right here you can see if you deposit money here it will grow by seven percent weekly that's it oh and you can prevent from losing any cash in jail if you do get caught or thrown into jail so myself i've been throwing any extra cash that i have left over into here and sometimes it actually shows you a number to the right of it where it says okay the week has passed here's how much extra you've gotten because your money was in here another thing the game doesn't really tell you but it is there and it's available for you to throw in and store some extra cash and make a little bit of extra money. Tip number five, every level go to hell neighbor and find and pick up any other optional objectives you have here. As you can see, I had two more that I didn't come back to pick up just yet. You should do this every level because there are jobs that will show up here. And a lot of times they give you some decent XP and some decent cash. Just from this one for planting a package, you get $2,000 and 150 XP. If you're doing the main story, this is going to help you level up a lot faster. So that way you can actually buy or unlock any abilities you need for the next main story mission. Tip number six, always have a thief contract active. For myself, I always go for the one that has steal an item. For these thief contracts, you can only have one active at a time and you, you cannot cancel the contract. So you do have to complete them. So choose wisely. Most of the time, it's really not that bad because if you can do one of these, then you can really do the other ones. It's only based on the location that you're actually going to. And my biggest suggestion that I found out yesterday is if you actually buy the binoculars in the steel gear option, if they're unlocked for you to use, then these help you mark those objects through the walls. And that has been super helpful with locating them before having to go in there, you know, have a minute or two to like grab the object. It's super helpful to be able to know exactly where you're going, what you're grabbing, and then bounce afterwards. Hip number seven when you get to the very first heist which is the forest side resort you'll find the key to be able to get to the earrings is in this little grass pile right here now if you unlock the tips then the game will actually show you and give you an icon like this saying hey the key is right here you will need this to be able to complete the main story objective 
but you can come back to this heist at any time to be able to do any other extra looting you would like to do so it's not limited to that it took me a little bit to find this it's right over by 1c which is on the left side when you actually enter the map it'll be on the left side and then the actual jewelry that you need is over at that house right there to see hopefully this part helps you out as well because it took me a little bit to realize that it was right here tip number eight always have at least three lock picks on you at a time that goes for both basic lock picking and regular lock picks these can be lifesavers and you can buy them on your phone if you're out in the field if you just tap press up on pc you can go to quick buy and be able to pick them up but they are a little bit more expensive here than they would be buying them on the computer same thing you can buy a crowbar here as well or dog meat but i suggest any heist you go into or anytime you come back to the house just make sure you have three of each and you'll be all set tip number nine whenever you get the chance try to pick up the ski mask this is going to help help you not get recognized by people if you fail a robbery or get caught during a robbery what will happen if you do get caught without one of these is the next time you go back to that neighborhood or that house there might be posters hanging throughout the the city myself i haven't been able to find them and actually pull them down but apparently you are able to go to them and pull them down so that way people don't recognize recognize you anymore alternatively if you do get caught or you get sent to jail then that will wipe your slate clean but you'll just have to either lose out on a little bit of cash that you have on your inventory to bail yourself out or you will have to lose some xp depending on what options it gives you when you look at the bed tip number 10 check the calendar every few days there's a different event that is happening as you can see on this list today the 24th all items sell for 10 percent less but if we go to the next day there's a parade happening where most people will leave between 9 and come back at 12. so that sets up a great opportunity for some of those places that might have one to two people constantly there and it makes it a lot easier now bonus tip here don't be dumb like me when i started looking at the skill tree here i originally thought that these were the only abilities but no you can scroll down and there are plenty of other things to unlock on top of that these purple abilities are completely separate from the blue ones throughout the game you will find special items that give you special points don't hold on to them like i did because i lost out on being able to be heard less by people also being able to run faster without any stamina drain so if you do get those special points you'll show it you'll see it show up in the bottom right here just use them or if you really want you can save them as well because there are some pretty good ones once you hit 15 all items sell for more and same thing when you hit 20 if you knock somebody out or put them to sleep they'll stay asleep longer and the final tip i would have is when you're loading into the game there are some tips in the bottom left of the screen if you get the chance to read those some of those can be very helpful and some of them i think even have easter eggs now i haven't seen it in a little while but there was one that i saw at one point that said something about a demon baby around the house i haven't ran into it yet but i've been a little Little, a little bit sketched out while we've been at this location because I'm afraid that something's going to pop up and it would not be fun. But that is available there and I highly recommend because some of those tips can actually be really good. And that is going to be all the tips that I currently have for Thief Simulator 2. If you did enjoy this video, then definitely leave a like on it. Let me know if you played the first one or if you plan on checking this one out. I think it's been a pretty cool game and I've really enjoyed my time with it so far. Stop by the live stream sometime. We're probably going to be playing it for a few days after release. So for now, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.